Hey everybody, Corey here from Parta Pro. We're here with our favorite tester, Al, and we're gonna show you the app for the Epson M Tracer. So first thing we do is we started up the app here and uh, entered our account info, logged in, did all that good stuff. So we're gonna just show you a swing. So first thing we wanna do is set up and then click on the club. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick the seven iron, which was already selected, um, but we're gonna cl click the seven iron and then click back and where the target is, uh, what you're shooting at uh, is straight, we're gonna say. Um, now it goes back and automatically pairs with the device. And we're gonna hit start here, and that's where it's looking for the M tracer. So make sure it's on. Once it's on, there's a red light on the club, and Al, it says it is red light on there, and it says hold your address posture. So Al is gonna be doing that. And once it's got that address posture, then Al can do his waggle. Take his swing. And then it registers the swing. So he's gonna take another shot here so we can measure and compare the last two swings. So he's got his address, lets us know. There we go. And now we see that there's 20 swings registered uh, and we're gonna go back and compare the last two shots that he did. So we just hit stop. And hopefully we can see this okay here. And then we're gonna go analysis. And in the analysis window, we're gonna go, there's two, two modes here. There's basically the analysis and then there's a comparison. Uh, if you wanna change the analysis of um, any of the shots, we just go into the library and it stores all of our shots tags them by date and time. Um, and you can just do a quick comparison on swing speeds and rotations. And what's new to us is the natural uncock, which uh, I'll take you through just shortly here. So I'm gonna go back to the analysis window. Uh, one of the cool features is that second mode of comparison. So it takes the shot that you were just analyzing and then you can choose whatever shot you wanna compare it with. So we're just gonna compare the last two and then we'll take you through some of this, the items there. So in the comparison, you can change the view type. So we've got a down the line there, overhead, and you can play back, forth at any time. You can actually scrub, so pick any selection or part of the swing that you wanna see and change that, and you can do that with all the different views. Uh, so really helpful that way. Uh, the next thing, there's a view, uh, and a, a different type of view that shows you the V, pattern of the swing and making sure that you're in that zone and the halfway back view so it starts it automatically in the middle there and the top view and we'll just go back to the normal view so you can do that in all the uh, comparisons or with just the single swing um, and then you can select whichever one that you want to view or compare the next part is uh, going into the analysis so in the impact um, it shows you the face angle, the club path, the angle of attack, and the swing tendency where you tend to be uh, relative face angle and club path being the two uh, comparisons there. So um, you can change the view even on here on these amounts, replay it. If I want to replay that one, that shot, and see how it was uh, in terms of that face path and angle of attack. So uh, next thing to compare would be the speed. So it shows you the club head speed and the natural uncock. And we had to actually go into the description to determine, determine what the natural uncock is. So um, basically it shows to what extent the speed of one's arms is releasing power from its maximum t uh, to the time of impact. So it gives you a good little description here on what that is. Um, so there's nice little things like that in each one of these uh, analysis windows is that you can actually get a description of what it's talking about. There's a head speed and downspe downswing time graph uh, that can actually show you all that stuff. And uh, it's nice, you can actually see the views on here and uh, do a few changes and stuff like that to, to really get in and analyze your swing. Um, the next window would be the rotation. Uh, this is when looking at the club shaft, uh, looking down the club shaft, how you are at the rotation. So um, there's a good description in here on about shaft rotation 
and you know where it is at address and halfway back and um, gives you lots of good descriptions in there. The next window is the tempo um, and basically the idea of the tempo is trying to make sure that you stay consistent in your numbers but that's something that you can always talk to your instructor about as well but there's also a description in this window as well that tells you about that uh, and then that would be the final window and then the only note that I would say is that in this um, in the speed one you'll actually get a carry distance if you're not in the compare mode so I'm just gonna go back and go back to the cancel compare if we do an analysis of one shot and we want to see our speed it'll give us an estimated carry there so really nice to have uh, this information in an estimated carry but again it's just measuring the club so that estimated carry is, is again just an estimation so um, that's the M Tracer app at this uh, point in time. For more information, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com.